The Apollo 13 mission is one of the most famous space missions in history, not because it achieved its original goal, but because of the extraordinary way it turned a near disaster into a triumph of human ingenuity and perseverance. Launched on April 11, 1970, Apollo 13 was intended to be the third manned mission to land on the moon. However, an unexpected explosion aboard the spacecraft transformed the mission into a tense and dramatic struggle for survival. Here are some lesser known but fascinating facts about this historic mission. The famous phrase, Houston, we have a problem, is often quoted, but the actual words spoken by astronaut Jack Swigert were, okay, Houston, we've had a problem here. The phrase was later repeated by Commander Jim Lovell, who said, Houston, we've had a problem. This slight difference in wording is often overlooked, but it's a key part of the mission's lore. The explosion that crippled Apollo 13 occurred in one of the service module's oxygen tanks. A routine stir of the tank's contents caused a wire to short circuit, igniting the insulation and causing the tank to explode. This explosion severely damaged the spacecraft's power and life support systems, forcing the crew to abandon their lunar landing and focus entirely on survival. After the explosion, the lunar module named Aquarius became the crew's lifeboat. Designed to support two astronauts for about two days, it now had to support three astronauts for nearly four days. The lunar module provided essential life support, power, and navigation, allowing the crew to safely return to Earth. The Apollo 13 crew and the NASA ground team faced numerous life-threatening challenges, including a rising carbon dioxide level in the lunar module. The lunar module's CO2 scrubbers were not enough to sustain the crew for the return journey. Engineers on the ground quickly devised a solution to adapt the square CO2 scrubbers from the command module to fit the round openings in the lunar module. Using only materials available to the astronauts, including plastic bags, cardboard, and duct tape, they successfully built a makeshift CO2 filter that saved the crew's lives. At one point during the mission, communication with Earth was interrupted due to the spacecraft's changing attitude. The crew was instructed to build a mail sack, a large bag made from leftover insulation, to protect the lunar module's radio receiver from heat. This simple yet ingenious fix improved the radio signal, restoring clear communication with mission control. After the explosion, Apollo 13's navigation system was compromised. The crew had to manually navigate the spacecraft using Earth as a reference point. To perform a critical burn to adjust their trajectory, they used the sun, a makeshift sighting tool, and a wristwatch to time the burn precisely. This manual maneuver was crucial in ensuring that the spacecraft re-entered Earth's atmosphere at the correct angle. Against all odds, the Apollo 13 crew, Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert safely splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on April 17, 1970. Their safe return was celebrated worldwide as a testament to the resilience and problem-solving abilities of both the astronauts and the ground team. The Apollo 13 mission had a profound impact on NASA. The near disaster led to significant changes in how NASA prepared for future missions. New safety protocols were introduced and more rigorous testing of spacecraft systems was implemented. The mission also emphasized the importance of teamwork and the ability to adapt quickly to unforeseen challenges. Although Apollo 13 did not achieve its original objective of landing on the moon, it became one of NASA's most significant missions. The story of Apollo 13 is not just one of survival. It is a powerful reminder of human determination, the importance of preparation, and the ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. Apollo 13 remains an inspiring chapter in the history of space exploration. The mission's legacy continues to influence how we approach challenges both in space and on Earth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. See you in the next one.